Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for those hockey playoffs to get underway. <laughs> Dude, I'm nervous for this. So this is how it's about to work. We're going to sim until we lose. And then we watch a game. And I, and I give you guys the highlights of that game. Uh, because there is no quick sim in this, uh, it's just a, you know, we can't actually watch, you know, the, the sim. It's, it's the literal sim. I just said the word sim so many times. Anyways, we're going to sim and until we lose. So if we lose this first game here, we will then watch the second game. I'm hoping we win all four and we have to not watch any, but uh, we'll see what happens here. We are away. We've already looked at all that stuff. Um, uh, there's nothing really else, not, not much else I want to want to see, you know. Um, what could we look at to get on the screen? That way we don't lose it. Um, I guess let's take a look at the Florida Panthers and who made the playoff run for year number one. Let's take a look at those at the lines, shall we? So first line. Yes, yeah, not Jokinen, believe it or not. We're actually moved up. Niewin Dyke, Kozlov, and Keen. There's your your first three there. Um, then it's Jokinen, Baronet, Zen, um, Novus, Desval, bro. I can't record these games. I struggle with the names as it is, but when it's late at night, it gets worse. This guy right here, look at him. This Chad right here, second line. <laughs> Bure, Colin, Nilsson. Nilsson has actually been fantastic for us. Um, Though, you know, his potential isn't high. <clears throat> I know it doesn't seem like he's done a lot this year only 11 points and he's got negative 16 but when we watch the games he does good so that's that's important because the game watch is different than it sims so we got to win in both uh to win in playoffs uh this is the guy one of the guys i was talking about on the list 71 overall but 95 potential and he's a young stud dennis Shvid, Shvidski, Shvidski. I think that's how you'd say that. Horrible plus minus this year. Shouldn't even be playing in the NHL. He should be playing in the minors, but that's how bad our depth is. That's the fourth line. Defensive pairing. There's your first line. Second line, Bo Meester, who's held up his own. Can't wait to see them next year. Power plays. There you go. And hopefully, <clears throat> goalie for every game in the playoffs, Roberto Lwingo. If this man will not get tired, he will be the uh, starting every playoff game because we can't afford, you know, for him not to. Oh man! So there you go, boys. There you go. It is time to get this underway. I really the the only thing I wish this game had was quick sim but we'll get there i do plan on going uh i'm not gonna let this be the only nhl game i play I i'm actually really enjoying this it's such a different pace and it's actually very different than madden uh management is completely different it's a completely different challenge for me and i'm i'm really enjoying this i feel connected to this team right now and, and that's what really makes gm mode so good so without further ado Fingers crossed. Here we go. Game number one in New York. Can we get a win? This is what the lines are looking like. Oh, man. <clears throat> we need this, man. We need this bad. Come on. We, we can steal this game one away. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Let's go. Three to four. Victory. We still game one on the road. We play better at, at you know, as the away team, and we, I've already talked about why we do. We're going to play better away than we are at home. And that is amazing. So, 
Do we rest? I think we're gonna rest the next day. So there you go. So now we're okay. We win three to four. Holy crap, that's huge. That is huge. Let's take a look at the rest of the league. Holy crap. So Dallas is oh wow, Dallas is up two two to oh over San Jose already. Detroit over LA. Colorado two over Minnesota. Nothing out of the ordinary in the Western Conference other than, you know, maybe the Jazz. I mean, that's a toss up, but yeah, everything's as normal in the Western. What about the Eastern? Toronto, it's a tied series, one to one against the New Jersey Devils. Tampa Bay up one over Philly. Honestly, I'd rather Philly win that game, but of course we're going up against whichever seed is the best seed. Unless New Jersey Devils win, then we'd go up against the second best seed in the next round. So I would I want Philly to win. I know we can beat them. I don't know about Tampa Bay, man. We struggle against them. Ottawa fall or takes the one game lead over Buffalo. And there you have it, folks. There you have it. Let's see, can we get keep this thing rolling? Let's find out here. Man oh man. Alright, here we go. It's Friday. The New York Rangers. How many people are they packing in their home games? Let's find out. Let's find out. This is so cool, by the way. I love this feature. I wish current sports games had it. Uh, they're down here, it looks like. <laughs> no one's showing up to their games, man. They're not even packing 15K. They're at the bottom of the league when it comes to... They're almost one of the worst team playoff teams here. Besides San Jose, it looks like, who I, I doubt has played a home game yet. That's pretty pathetic, man. Oh, wow. So no one's showing up to the Rangers game. Maybe they know something that we don't, man. Maybe we, you know, maybe they're not as good as... On paper, they're better than us. So... Here we go, folks. Game number two. Three to four win over the New York Rangers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before, we, before we do anything, one, one thing we can do is we can look at player stats from the playoffs. After every game, if we want to keep, you know, see who did what. So here you go. Oh, Bre Brezen. Berenzi, or however you can say that name, dude. He had three points for us. Two assists, one goal. Myronov, our defensive player, scored the two goals. And Bure, our right wing, scored the other. Wow, okay. How did our goalie do? How did how did our stud do? The guy we're building around. Wingo, how'd he do, baby? 1-0. 88 save percentage. I need him to play better. I need him to play at 90%. We're in the playoffs. Take your game to the next step. You, you finish that as an 88 save percentage. Come on. I need to see 90 save percentage, man, in these playoffs. Come on, boys. Let's start off the series right. 2-0. Come on. Can we do it? Can we do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. I simmed way too many. No. Whoa. I simmed way too many. No, Jim Jari F's up big time. He sims way too many. We did get the 3-0 win, but then we dropped two home games, and now the series is tied 2-2 because I was on the wrong freaking day. And the simming is so fast on the PS2. It's faster than the PS5. It just simmed through. Holy crap, I'm glad I caught it. But now, we, now we're, we, we took two losses. I can't even feel good about that win at now. I feel bad about it because we dropped two home games. We take two away games, and that's exactly what I said. We're going to play so much better on the road than we are at home. Oh, my God. The series is close. It's tied 2-2, two to two, and I can't believe I did that. But you know what that means. We're jumping in to a game, and we're going to watch some playoff hockey. Series tied 2-2. Two to two. Oh, Dude. Fluff, dude. I screwed up big time there. Um, 
Let's take a look at the, the rest of the league real quick for playoffs here. Man, I can't believe I did that. So, oh my goodness. San Jose has taken it to a game six. It's three to two Dallas. Colorado sweeps Minnesota. Uh, St. Louis Blues look like they they should handle business against Phoenix. That helped with our draft pick. Detroit tied with Los Angeles Kings at two to two. And for the Eastern side, we know we're two and two. The New Jersey Devils, the eighth seed, is a game above Toronto, the best team in the NHL. Oh my goodness. We are also trying to upset the New York Rangers. We're tied 2-2. Two two. Tampa Bay makes easy work of Philly. And Buffalo and Ottawa are tied 2-2. Two two. A lot of good playoff matchups this year. Holy crap. I can't believe I just skipped through a bunch of them, a bunch of our games, man. And now I got to make sure our team is good. Let's check our team real quick, man. First off, how are we feeling? Okay. All right. Nothing. Nobody's. Oh. Renzi is fired up. Should I should I move him to the first line? Should I move him to the first line? He's on fire. He is on fire. Should I do that? Should I? Uh, I'm just gonna keep it the same. I gotta check on my goalie. How are you doing, man? Uh, hang in there. His overall is down a little bit at an 89. Hang in there, Roberto. I need you to play good, please. Please. How many goals has he given up, man? Let's see. What's he doing, man? Let's check the games real quick. He's coming off of four goals to back to back. Oh my goodness. He did have one shutout. Dude, okay. Let's check. Now let's check morale and things like that. Let's check, you know. Okay, morale is fine. Morale is fine, okay. Ooh, our, our way is a minus eight. We need to get a practice in there. We can get that down to minus six. Morale's fine. We're gonna do a medium practice, but I know that sounds crazy. I, listen, I know that sounds crazy, but that's just how this game works. Oh, we can't. Because it's not the 14th, it's the 15th. Oh, man. Oh, man, and they have the better overall here. All right, well, folks, I'll see you um after the highlights we, you know no matter what we know for a fact we're gonna get all right ladies and gentlemen listen i'm so sorry your boy he really screwed the pooch man on this one i i feel so bad guys i'm so sorry um this is the thing this is the thing i am so immersed with hockey right now your boy was so excited. I just went through the whole playoffs and, um, well, didn't realize, but the footage is damaged and I cannot bring it to you guys. So, year one playoffs are, uh, yeah, they're over, but you guys aren't going to get to see them, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Listen, it was embarrassing. We... We got past the first round. We beat the New York uh, Rangers four to two, but then got swept um, by Ottawa. So you didn't really miss much. Um, the New Jersey Devils ended up the eighth seed. New Jersey Devils ended up going all the way, facing the Detroit Red Wings and beating them four to three in the Stanley Cup Finals. So I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging like that. We're about to get into the draft and everything else that I was able to record after the playoffs. I'm so sorry, guys. This will not, I repeat, will not happen again. We are starting the draft here. I was um, in the menus and I was uh, advancing the day. And once you get into the screen, it locks you in. So I, I wasn't planning. Oh, I just hit my desk there um i wasn't planning on doing the draft it's 2 a.m in the morning <laughs> but uh here we are okay so yeah it, it, there's some certain things that are out of date that you know i will be enjoying moving to a newer nhl but for the most part there's a lot in this game that i like 
And um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. We don't know a lot compared to the test run GM that I did off camera. Where So, like, I didn't put any of the upgrades in scouting. And I actually do feel that... Um, I do feel that impact right now because I don't have any overalls or potentials up, up locked and um, unlocked in the last time uh, the test run that I did I actually had some overalls unlocked so this is gonna be interesting to do uh, before I, we get into this though there was one trade I ma made the veteran S Berezin Berezin I traded him for New York Islanders third round pick uh, he, I, I believe he was a left wing and uh, we also released um, a couple of veterans that didn't really, you know, play too much and just, I mean, look, you know, we we got swept in, in the second round, all right? It's time to go ahead and clean house for those 30-plus-year-olds, you know, and, and get this team a lot younger now. Now, it's it's really, you know, I wanted to bring some, some playoff hockey for entertainment. That's what I've done. Now it's time to really mean business and really sculpt this team for a dynasty all right so if you're older you're not really going to be in the window of when we're going to be good so we might as well go ahead and let them go because we're probably not going to be good next year and we have to to grow our younger guys so we are picking so this is what the draft order looks like uh the new york islands were the worst team Columbus Jets, uh, Edmonton, Nashville, Vancouver. There's your top 10 Calgary there. And we are picking 19th, so that kind of sucks. Vancouver, for some reason, is last. There's a lot of trading going on and going around. Uh, Detroit moves up 28th. Um, somehow the New Jersey Devils are picking 18th, even after I had one... You know, they just won the freaking championship. But there, the, there you go. Uh, we have a we have a pretty good bit of picks, guys. So I'm hoping we can do something here. Uh, I have a list of guys that you know I'm looking at. Um, but before we do, let's take a look here at what we know. I have a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight players. Haynes is one of them. This is a guy that I have on my list. Now listen, his speed is very, very questionable, but passing is good. Um, shot accuracy is actually questionable. But his face-offs are good. And I believe he's a left wing. So we could move him over. Maybe he'd play better at center. But he is 20 years old. Conley was another guy I was looking at. He's a left wing. 75 speed. 84 aggressiveness. 75 acceleration. This seems to be like a little bit of a weaker draft. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Toughness is... Rotella, which I didn't have him on my list because his stats don't seem to be that good, man. Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, shot power. Korhan, uh, he's not on my list either, but maybe we should add him. He seems to be pretty good, actually. Yeah, you know what? We're going to add this guy. He's a right wing. Oh, no, actually, he is on my list. He's right here. Yeah, and, and Vidlicky is on, on our list as well. All right. For goalies, did we learn anything new about the goalies? No. We are pretty blind. We don't really need a goalie, so I didn't really put that much effort in scouting these guys. So, here we go, man. I have... Like I said, eight players in my list. I could get down to my pick and not have anyone that I've looked that I have on my list at all. These I have a list of who what I think is going to be the eight best players in this draft. And I could not get any of them. And that's gonna really suck. 
here we go, boys. My first draft. Let's get it. It just skips right down, boy. That is so annoying. Scott Stathis, a goalie, goes number one. Is that? That's pretty surprising, ain't it? I'm pretty sure. In the top eight, it looks like nobody on my list. This has me worried, dude. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Is this a weak draft, or did I just am I just not good at scouting right now? Because I didn't put any upgrades in my scouting, and yeah, none of the players that I had on my list have went in the top eight, but that doesn't ensure they could go in the next eight, right? Uh, we picked 19th. But Scott Stathis, we'll have to check this out. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot of that, actually. Yeah, there we go. There's your top eight. All right, let's move down. Pittsburgh, Ola Huckowiski. Huckowiski. Wow, a goalie. A lot of goalie. Uh, hold on. A lot of goalies are going. Were the, was this a good goalies class? Because I was thinking it was a bad goalies class. Calgary. Kilrail Arkhipov. Harkipov. Defensive guy. Not on my list. I don't know any of these dudes. Marcel Balo. Defensive man. Tobias Husselis. Goes to Montreal. Not on my list. He was a goalie. A center. Sheldon Bombarder. Goes to San Jose. Boston. Yuri Baikov. Center. Joachim. Bomi Dini Dinehe left wing Washington and none of these guys are on my list dude holy crap I'm very nervous now Stinkalov Bunka center and 17 oh no are you fucking kidding me you Minnesota Fuck you Tim Conley that was one of my, the dudes, bro, he was the number one on my list. I was really watching the left wing stud. Ah, he's gone to Minnesota. Guys, fluff. We just, he's going to be a franchise left wing watch. I guarantee it, dude. Oh, my goodness. Maxim Cutlier. Cutlier. Goalie. Maxim. Goes to New Jersey. New Jersey gets a new goalie, a young prospect goalie, possibly. I can't believe the one dude out of the eight that I'm looking. I guess I should be thankful that there's still seven available. But, dude, he was one of the guys I was most sure about. And Minnesota steals him. Holy crap. I thought he was going to go in the top three, to be honest with you. Wow. Well, here we are. Speed. This guy, not on my list. This guy was on my list. He's a defensive player, though, a huge. But, you know, we have younger talent. Um, so he wasn't, like, high on my list. Heens was, you know, on my list for the passing. It looks like he has an elite passing. Um, but as more gets revealed, some of these players are a little questionable. Shot power. Vid, Vidlicky, he, he made it on my list because of that. So let's actually take a look at Vidlicky here. 71 deking, uh, puck control 76, toughness 75, so he could be injury prone. 74 speed, and that's really all we know about him. Um, For shot accuracy, Corhorn was... Oh, the right winger guy that I had on here, he, him and Leto have 78, which is decent shooting as a rookie, right? We don't know a lot about him, except we do know 77 acceleration, which is not bad at all. Um, 74 speed, but that's it. That's all we know about this guy. But I had him, you know, on the list for the, the, the pretty good shooting. Uh, let's, let's compare him to Leto, I guess. Um, he's a left winger and we could really use any position guys. So we're not limited to, you know, we're going for best talent here. 
61208. He's a little smaller, 74 passing. We don't know what Cor Corhan's passing is, uh, but we don't know Leto's acceleration. We do know his shot power is only 69. Um, don't know much about any of them, man. Haynes, though, I, I love his his face off, dude. Um, it's got me wondering why. Why is he a left wing? You know, but his shot accuracy is horrible, so that kind of turns me off there a little bit. Uh, for checking, this guy. Uh. They actually didn't make my list. I don't think I knew this at the time. 87 checking. That actually is very intriguing. 66 passing, 73. He is a defensive guy. And we did need some help in defensive. But because also, you know, our veterans, we got rid of some veterans. Our offense isn't going to be as good either. But that 87 checking is pretty incredible. If we're being honest, um, this is hard, dude. I don't know who we take, guys. Oh, dude. Um, Puck Control, Vidlicky. 71 Deacon, 76 Puck Control. Oh, shot accuracy. I feel like we really struggled it. Vidlicky shot power 81. I mean, we know a pretty good bit about Vidlicky here. I think he's looking like the guy. The only thing that turns me off is that toughness. I mean, we get him, you know, like, is he going to be hurt kind of thing? Balance 76. Overall, I think he's the best. Oh, Corhorn here. Vidlicky. Okay, let's keep looking at Vidlicky here. You see a lot of this other stuff we don't really know. Uh, Kubina, Corhorn, Dingman. Means, means, Alex, by call. I think so. This is kind of my strategy here. Was who do you see for what you know? Who whose name pops up the most? Corhorn, Kubini, Vidlicky, Corhorn, Corhorn, Cor excuse me, Vidlicky. I think okay. All right, boys. I'm just taking a minute, but this is my first ever draft here in this game. I think we're gonna go Vidlicky here. I'm so blowed that Cone Lee got taken, dude. This is an 18-year-old center, 6'4". Boys, I hope I'm making the right choice as general manager here. 81 shot power, 71 deking, 76 puck control. The only thing is his toughness is, a, is pretty low. But it's also second highest of what we've scouted. So... Boys, with your number one overall or number one round pick, 19th overall pick, first pick I've ever done here that counts is going to be Vidlicky here. Now we know not much about him. We know enough, I think, for him to be intriguing, though. Out of the seven that I have on my list here, I think he is the most intriguing. Yeah, I think he is. I'm sticking with it. Here we go. Oh, man. It doesn't tell you what he is yet, but he is 18. So he's got a lot of time to grow. Vladimir Vidlicky. Welcome to Florida, baby. Come on down. The beach and weather is perfect. All right, here we go. Now, you know, I got to look and see here. Um, so after Vidlicky, Tampa Bay took Victor, who is a left wing. He was not on my list. Back last, Mokic. I mean, you guys kind of see, I didn't, my list, a lot of these people aren't on my list. I didn't have a big list because our scouting is so bad. I didn't know much about anybody. Yeah, no one went, dude. And you're you're shooting in the blind because there is no like mock draft. There is nothing that tells you where a certain player is gonna go or, or gives you kind of a guess on on when they're gonna go. You are just shooting in the blind. I could have taken 
the worst pick ever. We're going to find out here in the end, but there's just no way for me to even know. There really isn't. So, all right, let's go back down here. Um, any names that I that are familiar to me? None. None that I know of. Oh, man. Am I completely just screwing the pooch on my scouting? I don't know. We just don't know a lot. There's no more goalies available. Uh, was this a very good goalie? I was over here talking about how it's not good at, at goalie. It's not a good goalie draft, and here they are just going. So I wanted to take a look, though. First off, let me go ahead and check off Vidlicky here because we got him. Uh, Pekinen and uh, this guy was on my list, but Pekinen was so seven, it was because of his speed, I think 75, but we don't know much. But oh, also his shot power 73. Um, that's all we ended up finding out about this guy. Like, so he almost leads in. Oh, I don't know about this guy. I think all we do know about him is he's pretty small and he's got decent shot power, but that's about it. Mm. So, for speed, those three, agility, is there anything? 80, passing Heens is still available. His face-offs are 82. I don't think we can pass up 280 overall. He's a left wing. He's 20, though. That's the only negative thing, I guess. But, I mean, he's got 280 overall stats. Imagine what other stats are in the 80s that we just don't know about. I feel like 80s is a, is a tell of the character. You, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a... Uh, we're about to be shooting in the dark, seriously, here in a minute. This is not good. We, are, we really do... I was thinking, you know, when I did my test, uh, oh, you know, scouting's so easy. I'm not going to upgrade it. But the reason it was easy is because I upgraded scouting. I didn't realize how bad it is when you, if you don't upgrade it. To min in is an 84 check in, which I think we were looking at that. We do know, though, some of his stuff is not good. Wait, he's a sinner? With 50 face off? Uh, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. All right, I think the next one is uh, Jay Haynes. Haynes. We know he has two. Yes, he's 20. But he does have, he's a left wing and he does have two, uh, two stat statistics that are in the 80s. <sighs> Boy, I, I hope this is, I hope we're doing good. I, I, there's just no way to tell. There really is no way to tell. I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. Second pick, baby. Josh Haynes. Hopefully, I'm saying it pretty close there. Welcome to Florida, my man. That's another one off my list. So we got a left wing and we got a center. So we're working on our forwards that were older. And I know, you know, a lot of our future players that are supposed to be good are on defense. And that's kind of why I'm doing that. We do pick again in this draft. Um, Jason Hume went. Hemsky. Nobody on my list. All right, here we go, boys. We're back at it. No goalies are available. We could just go speed, I guess. Um, Kraftchenko, 74 passing, 62 speed. That's gross. Don't like that at all. 76 shot power. I keep seeing that with this guy. We just left wing. We already kind of went left wing. We don't need to go left wing again. Leto. Who was this guy? Was he, he was a left wing as well. With that 78 shot accuracy, which is kind of sexy. Not going to lie. 77 face off is the best face off we know. It's Shrek. I'm going to have to call him Shrek. He is a right wing. He's 18. Are we only. Oh, we do know his shot power is 61. 
This face off 77. We could be a face off god team if we wanted to be. Two men in with 84 checking. But this is a center with 50 face off. I don't think you do position changing in this either. Let's back out here and let's dra let's go back and see how is it Okay, it's just doing it by uh Yeah, dude, they really don't help you out at all. Oh, that's crazy. 73 speed, nothing else. Dude, we don't know anything, dude. We're just literally shooting in the blind here, folks. Holy crap. 76 shot power. What do we do? Leto shot accuracy. I think we're going to go Leto here. But what was his position? He was a left wing. We already got a left wing. Oh, man. He's 19. Deking. We don't know anything. Face off Shmrek. Is Smrek a right wing? We'll take him if he is. He's a right wing eight, 18 years old. He's got, we know, 61 shot power. Pitkinen. Pitkinen was on my list. Why was he on my list? He's sick because of the size, maybe. And he's got 73 shot power, and he's 6'6". 232, probably. Mm, we're going to go. Smirks are right wing. I mean, you kind of need to be good, right? At uh, So weird he's good at face-offs, but that's all we know. Two men in 84 checking, man. You know what? We're going to get this guy. Because you know what, maybe maybe he's okay. Maybe he's not good at face off. So, but maybe he he's you know a guy we can have on the defensive line. You know when when we have the lead and we just need guys that can turn force turnovers and okay maybe I mean that's an 84 overall stat line. I you know maybe that is a sign that there's something here, or maybe I just suck. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. <laughs> Welcome, Vili Tuminen. Oh, boy, this is not going well. And you can't trade down or anything like that. So, yeah, we're in it for a while here, boys. It's going to be a while. Just go ahead and strap in. I'm going to start speeding up. West Lund, I mean, at the end, we're just shooting in the blind here. You know, I'm probably just going to take the highest attribute that we know. Kennen, I've, I've had him on the list. Shot power, he's 6'6", 232 at 19 years old. And then we'll probably end up taking Smrek. Let's go. Let's go pick, pick Kennen. There's no reason to take our time now. We don't really know much. It's Tommy Pickinnon. We don't know much about these guys. Okay. We just don't. That's the honest truth. All right, so we're taking very, very wild shots here. West Lund, 70 speed. And a lot of the guys we knew about are now officially gone. 77 face off. Ooh, interesting. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I thought I was glitching it out to where I could see, but no. Okay, we're going to go... Uh, I guess we're just going to go now by position, maybe, and... Or no, let's go by age. Because if we're going to shoot in the dark, we at least want to get kids that are young. And we have now drafted center, 
left wing, a defensive player, and maybe a center again, I think. So, yeah, we're not going to know anything about any of these guys, but we know that they're 18. Petrovicki. We do know a little bit about Sh Smrek, so I think we will take him. And Westland is 70 speed. We know his shot power 61, 77 face off, and he is a right wing. We know Westland is a defensive man with 70 speed. Let's go Smrek here. 18 years old. We're just kind of just shooting in the dark here now. And now round four. I could go auto draft, but I feel like that's cheating because the CPU is going to know a little more than I am. So I'm not going to cheat. And I'm going to force myself to make these picks, man, because. Yeah. All right, here we go. Dude, a 6'6 six, six right winger. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm trying to think of who did, did we let go of any defensive players? We still know about Westland, who's a defensive player with his 70 speed. I think we'll take him next because it's really all we know. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we are literally shooting in the dark. We don't know anything, so I'm just going to select depth at this point. So we're going to go left wing here. Oh, we're going to go left wing here in Tamander. Tamander. Hola, Tamander. We literally know, not like I said, we know really nothing here. And we're in the final draft. This was a weaker draft, I feel like, or I feel like... Maybe, I don't know. I feel like we just didn't know a lot. And now I really do get it, man. We're paying the price because I focused on our facilities all year on the upgrades. I, I This game is balanced pretty well. I'll say that. I'll give it. I'll, I'll hand it to them. Um, wow, you know. <laughs> pretty impressive, to say the least. Let's let's go another center here. You got a 19 year old center for me. Let's go Voltinen. 5'11 a light size. Why not? Please tell me that this is over. Yeah, there you go. It is over. The pain of not knowing is over. Oh, that was really bad, guys. That was that was embarrassing. That was horrible. <clears throat> now it's time to see what the damage is. Oh boys, here we go now. We good news here. Back in the day, we still negotiated contracts. It didn't just automatically sign them. So we get to decide on who's gonna make the team and who's not. We got twenty forwards on the roster, ten defensive men, two goalies. Probably should have really went goalie. I just felt I thought it was weak. So if we sort it here like this, here you go. All right, boys, the fun part. The fun part. How do I want to reveal this? Well, I guess we'll just go over one. Got picking in. Uh, who was our first pick? Vidlicky, I think it was. So he's going to be down at the bottom there. Oh. My. Goodness. We did not do too bad. Oh, I mean, in the end, it's gonna matter. It's it's gonna depend on what their uh, what their potential is, of course. But uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'll just go ahead and say that now. Pekinen, not sure when we picked him. Let's go ahead and take a look at this kid though, Tommy Pekinen. The 61st pick. Ah. So, yeah, it's a decent pick for where we got him. 
but he just he's not going to get better than what he is. He's a 75 overall, and his potential is 62. So if anything, he might go down. Um, checking is an 89, which is amazing for his defensive position. But uh, he's not going to really do much. Other than that, he's good at controlling the puck. He's got decent speed, decent decent balance. That's it, man. So overall, I mean, you know, in the end, we want guys that can grow, and he can't really grow. But at least he'll help the team for now. We're definitely we're definitely gonna give him a contract for sure. I mean, that's good depth. It's better than what we have had. I'll tell you that right now. So overall, by the way, doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad pick because we got to see potential. Twenty-year-old Heens, he's got to have high potential. But now, now this is the biggest, you know, bust you can do, and it's a guy we're not going to actually sign to a contract. And what's funny is we took this guy first, before Pinnikin, uh, Pinnikin or whatever the fuck his name is. Fuck these names, dude. <laughs> uh, he's got really good. So there you go. It does not necessarily mean anything if you see 80 overalls. Then then that make, that scares me because 82 face off, 80 passing. The rest of his stats are dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh this guy dude, uh this was just when we were randomly uh selecting. Unless he's got like 99, yeah, he's trash. So he's not going to get a contract. Toy Menon, this is another random one that ended up having 72 overall. Um, but that's it, you know. Um, it's really all he's going to have. His checking is decent. His toughness is good. Uh, but as a center, you need to be able to do a lot more than that. And he just, he can't really do anything. I honestly don't even know if we'll... Be giving him a contract? I'm gonna have to think about that one. That one's gonna be interesting. You know, we'll see. I want to look at this guy last, Vidlicky. I want to look at him last because he's like our our number one pick, and he's 18, dude. If he if he's got potential, that's in like 88. At least 88, like somewhere close to the 90s. I will, th I will call this draft a success. All right, but let's keep looking here. 69 of uh, Tom's bro with the fluff. He is not a rookie. Tim Mander, I drafted this guy solely on his name, and it seemed to work out. He'll grow to a 72, but uh, does he even make the starting roster? I just don't think he does. I think, yeah, I think he's. He'll play in the minors, possibly. A lot of these guys are going to be playing in the minors. I think Shrek. I'm always going to call this guy Shrek as his name, as his nickname. Holy fuck! Oh my goodness! Oh my fucking goodness! Call him Shrek, baby! It's his swamp! Sign to this man right away. Newfoundland. I don't know where the fuck that's at, but, um. Oh my goodness! Freaking. Gracious baby. We're signing this guy to the minors right now. Shrek. I can drafted him on his name. I promise you guys. A little bit of speed in, in, in the name was the biggest thing. Oh man. Negotiate contract, my dude. I want you. To I want to sign a contract with you, man, for four years. There you go. We blocked him down. He'll be able to grow now, boys. He's going to play in the minors. He's going to play in the minors. For now. But he is on the roster. Uh, Actually, we need to do this. Oh, my God, dude. 89 overall. And he's a 60 overall. So, it won't take... I don't think it'll take him... I think he can get to his potential, man, before he gets too old. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
All right, so that's it. So now it's time for the grand finale here. Vidlicky, please, 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 please have high potential, please. No! Oh my God, Vladimir Vidlicky. He's not gonna get any better than what he is right now. Damn it. For what it is worth, he is a decent pick. All right? Don't want to hear any negative bullshit. He is going to go ahead and get a... Uh, he's going to go ahead and get an offer. All right? We're going to negotiate contract with him. Um, he... <laughs> He's asking for 1.5 million. Damn. Um, yeah, no, dude. You're going to probably get 0.9. All right, 1.2, whatever. For two years. He's going to, you know, he'll help us out for sure. Um, all right. Real quick here. Um, 65 overall. Heens, what was he? Did, does he grow anymore? No. I, so I don't think we want him. Uh, picking in who is a 75 overall, but he's not going to grow any better. But we're still going to sign him because he can actually help us. Um, again, it's kind of improving the, you know, our team a little bit than what we were. And he's wanting around the same. Uh, you know what? Two years. I'll offer him one mil. One point one for two years. Okay. There you go. And uh, let's see. Um. Oh, we gotta figure out Kozlov as well if we want to really win games, man. Oh shit, he's. Yeah, see, I didn't realize he's not on a contract right now. All right, yeah, we're not signing this guy. I know that much. Uh, 72 overall. Tumian. I think we're going to actually sign him as well. Man, why does he want so much? You're 72 overall, dude. You're not that good. All right, we'll get him to a to uh, 0.9. That's not too bad, right? I want to have a little bit of money to bring in, maybe a veteran to help, you know, um, to help grow some of our rookies and to get some wins and stuff like that. Because it's important that we still win games, guys. You can't just... There's, you do get punished to, for tanking in this game. Because you're not going to get a GM experience. Like, you do... You can't just tank. You know... The only benefit you get for tanking is the number one overall draft pick. Besides that, like... You're going to be regretting it. Westland. And that's... I like that. This game is very unique. 63. Greta, 68. Uh... I'm not going to sign him. And Haynes. No, we're not signing him. Tim Mander. He's 63, 18 years old. Was this one of the guys we wanted to sign? He can grow to a 72. I don't think he's. it's worth it, though. No, we're not going to sign him either. And Bolton's a 50 freaking one. It's not even... Yeah. There you go. There you have it, boys. So now we got to decide on our veterans. Uh, first, let's see where our money's at. If we um, go to finances here, after signing our our rookies, we have 17, 17.8. So we have some money. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and sign some of these some of these veterans now. Like. Kozlov, I think we gotta, I think we gotta sign him. I think we do. 
He's going to want some money. Sign to another one year deal. Wow, he wanted 6.9 mil. We're going to get him for 4.4. Now let's see what does that do to our money? Oh wait, I got to be careful here cuz it's not updated yet. All right, let's sim a day. Florida drafts Vid Licky in the first round. Team spotlights is Nashville and New Jersey. I'm not sure what that means, but yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. Did it update our our money situation? Finances? No. All right. I'm not sure how how to see how much money we have. Um, guess I can go to my GM rankings and see. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, we finished 14th in the general manager. So at the end of the year, man, you get bonuses for winning awards and all of those kind of things. So we were leading all year, and then we fell to 14th or 15th. Um, New Jersey's – the New Jersey Devils uh, GM, Bondock, is the best general manager right now. It's because he's won the damn Stanley Cup, you know? So um, team salaries – I feel like we should have some more money to spend. I mean, we're sitting here at 60 million. Uh, our revenue is 82.3. So, yeah. I don't know. All right, but this one, this, this video has been dragging on for a long time. I do understand that. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and end it here, and I'm going to finish up signing and getting the team ready. And then, you know, we'll do a team reveal before we start year two simulation so hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one